In the last video, we covered the rather meaty subject of relative and absolute referencing. Now we're going to look at a slight extension upon that topic and look at how we can use formula across worksheets and across workbooks. In effect, this is not a particularly complicated function to perform. All we need to do is introduce the equals symbol into our formula to tell Excel that we are feeding it calculations. And then we can simply create a link to another page by finding that other page and clicking on that value. So now I have a link through from this sheet through to sheet 1b3. Show me sheet 1b3 is 15% or 0 0.15. So for example, these values here could be substituted for a link to another page. This could be, sheet 1 could be my commission page and I can simply link through to these values. We see as we link through from sheet to sheet within the same workbook, Excel will default to a relative reference. Let's leave that relative reference as is and click enter. As we have a relative reference, I feel happy in copying across and knowing that the formulas will fill from left to right and move in a relative manner. This one of course pointing to D3 instead of B3 and clicking through to the correct reference. Let's just change my number formatting back. It's also good to understand that Excel can connect values within workbooks across worksheets, but it can also do it from file to file across different workbooks. So let's look at that same example again. I can simply click here, add my equals to tell Excel it's a formula, find another book with information of interest and link to that workbook. And now you will see that my formula bar is telling me the file name, which is book one. We see here book one. And then it's telling me the sheet name within the book and then the cell reference within the sheet. Also notice that when we link between workbooks, Excel defaults to a absolute reference. That's fine, but we do need to be aware and remove that absolute reference. I can then again scroll across the page and complete the formula, linking through to the appropriate value on my new workbook in my new sheet. Linking between sheets and in fact workbooks is incredibly useful and powerful. However, a word of warning at this stage about linking workbooks together. This workbook connection works fine as it is, but if I was to move this original workbook from its current position to a different one, I would end up with something called a broken link. That is where Excel tries to connect to a file that it expects to find in a certain place. If that file is no longer there, it doesn't know where to find it. And it will simply display a broken link or tell you that values cannot be updated. So while linking between workbooks is powerful, it should be used conscientiously and at a minimum. In the next chapter, we'll look at a different type of referencing through multiple sheets.